everyone welcome to unify study so in this video i am going to discuss about that topic which topic can give you 10 marks yes that is possible from one topic 10 marks is possible because it is the pattern of ugc net nowadays they are asking comprehension type question means from one topic they are asking five question and another topic another five question two comprehension type question are coming from two topic and 20 marks you can get from this two topic that's why i am going to tell here those topic from where question can come and how they are asking question that's why i am showing you the pdf and before going to the pdf definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest notification from this channel and please share this video to all of your friend now see here you can see this is the comprehension type question this is the pattern it is a question of 2019 here you can see 91 to 95 number question from same flow graph here this was the flow graph question and here another question is from another comprehension type question that is it, it was from functional dependency something was given and it is 95 to 100, 96 to 100, you can see here. And it was a functional dependency, so till 100 question. Means you can see two topic can cover 20 marks here. And here this is the question of 2020. Here also 91 to 95. This question was from tick scheduling and till 95. That throughout this they were asking this question. And after that again from the 96. There was a, a SQL question from where five question came. So now this is the pattern of UGC net. Now I am showing you what are the area which you can cover through which you can easily get the marks in this comprehension type question. So let's start it. So there is the list of topic of computer science. First of all, addressing mode. Addressing mode is the topic from which easily they can ask five question because there are so many types of addressing mode like direct addressing mode indirect addressing mode and uh, Im implicit addressing mode all the addressing mode you have to cover there are five to six addressing mode that you have to cover and easily they can form five question from this addressing mode topic and what is my target? I will try to cover this all topic before the exam. Every day I will upload one video for the concept. And after that at night I will upload the question from this topic so that you can practice it. And nowadays as you know I am trying to provide you question with music so that it will be little bit refreshment and you can enjoy it and you can practice the question. So definitely stay tuned with this channel morning and evening. After that cache mapping technique and replacement strategy. Cache mapping there are direct cache mapping, set associative mapping, associative mapping with the replacement they can merge the question. How they can merge that I will discuss and I will upload a video and I will provide you some question that you can practice. This is the next topic. Next topic is CPU scheduling. There are so many CPU scheduling algorithm like FIFO algorithm, FCFS FIFO algorithm, SJF algorithm. So many algorithm are there. Round robin algorithm. So they can merge this algorithm and they can ask you, right? Disk scheduling algorithm. 2020 only the question was there from the disk scheduling, disk structure. Not only disk scheduling, but disk scheduling and disk structure also. So here also they can ask question. Page replacement also, there are so many algorithm. Page replacement algorithm also, they can ask five question easily. Next one is deadlock. Deadlock, there are different types of question. How to form the deadlock? How to how deadlock can be occur what are the number of resources when deadlock cannot be occur what are the number of processes when deadlock cannot be occur this type of question they can ask and they can form five question easily from this topic next one is paging and tlb paging segmentation is the concept from where what will be the size of logical address what will be the size of the physical address what will be the offset size in that way, they can ask five questions from this area. 
Next one is cyclometric complexity. Already in the year 2019, they already asked from the cyclometric complexity five question. And this is very important area. How they can form the question? Now they can provide you the programming. From the programming, you have to draw the flow graph. After that, maybe they can ask five questions. And here, statement, branch and path coverage. This is a very important topic that already they are in my playlist. So, I will give you the link of the statement, branch and path coverage. Definitely watch the recording and complete this topic. And it is a very important topic from where easily five questions they can frame. Next one is functional dependency. Functional dependency, normalization, lossless lossy and minimal cover. Already in 2019, there was five questions from this topic. Must cover this and already I have covered this topic. You can check the DBMS playlist and they are already I have covered this topic. Definitely watch it. Next one is IP addressing, class pool, classless addressing and the subnetting is the topic from where five questions easily they can form. This is a very, very, very important topic and it is a conceptual topic. That's why I will take a class, I will upload a recording for IP addressing and subnetting. Next one is project scheduling, project scheduling part and CPM. This is the part of the actually software engineering also and it is the part of the unit one also. So that's why part CPM and project scheduling easily they can frame five question here. Next one from the trees, there are different types of tree, BS tree, B tree, B plus tree. This is also a topic from where easily question can be formed. And last one is searching algorithm and the shorting algorithm. Maybe they can provide you some scenario. From that scenario, they can ask you what will be the complexity according to the this searching algorithm or what will be the sequence or in that way easily they can maybe, they may be form a question of 5 series that is 10 marks. So, as per my understanding, as per my analysis throughout the syllabus, these are the topic you should not skip and must cover this topic before going to the exam because this topic can give you 20 marks, 20 marks. It is not a easy things and always remember the pattern is they are asking 90 to 95 and after that 96 to 100. So, whenever you are starting your exam, definitely check the 90 to 95 number question and 96 to 100 number question because most of the students are not getting time. In this area, they will lose their time and they will lose their marks. That's why whenever you are starting your exam, definitely check what is there in 90 to 95 number question and 96 to 100 number question. Maybe that can, can be easy question. And it can be from this topic so that you can easily score 2 marks. So, I hope you will like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. And definitely share this video to all of your friends. Stay tuned with this channel to understand this topic, to complete this topic with the MCQ and question. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon in my next video. Have a good day.